The arts can change the world. Travel with me, artist John Dyer. Be inspired. Learn about plants, animals, and people. Connect to tribal culture. Create. Paint. Exhibit. Connect. We're waiting for Robin to arrive and the nice lady who lives in the house next to us just came over to me and gave me these feathers on beads which is really nice. She said that you can hang them up or tie them on your clothes or tie them in your hair and that's, I thought that was really sweet and we've just had a boat so hopefully Robin and Merlin are here now which is exciting. Well this is sheer magic for me. I mean, Nishiwaka must have known that I grew up in a tree house in Ireland on a lake. I used to have to row ashore and it was heaven. That was my childhood. I, I learnt about exploring by being alone from the age of seven. My mother, I should have been taken into care, but my mother allowed me from the age of seven to live on this island and then come home in the daytime. And uh, I had a tree house, a beautiful tree house that I built there, the end of the war with a refugee boy who came over from England, from London. And uh, that was my paradise but this is sort of mega paradise because here Nishi and, and the Awanawa have built this beautiful big round house which is where we're sleeping and this tree house next to it which is high high above the ground and where the trees actually grow up through and that's so unusual to have a house where the trees are part of the structure without any nails or any damage to the tree they're just there and this morning early I was first awoken by a really noisy lot of birds, whose name I will find out shortly, who came and greeted us and made a frightful racket. And Nishi was kind enough to say that they'd come to welcome us to the forest, which I took with a slight pinch of salt, but I love his stories. And then we came up here early, just as the sun was coming up, up to the top of this place. And there, right above our heads, to my amazement, were half a dozen little white monkeys, about this big, with long white tails and little black faces who were looking at us round the trees like this and were saying, what are you doing here? And I couldn't believe it because, you know, the, the, the Yawanawa eat everything. You know, I mean, they hunt, they're great hunters. They live off the bush. And I said, don't you ever eat those monkeys? Yeah, we could, but we like them. We don't eat those. We keep them as pets sometimes. And they come here and steal our bananas. And they were sweet and greeted us. And so I feel completely at home here. So John's drinking some coconut water straight out of the coconut because he wasn't feeling so well this morning and this is a really good remedy for that. This is a fruit which helps with digestion and it's one of the natural remedies the tribe uses. So when we woke up today it was raining really quite heavily and that means that we can't paint outside. It also means that we can't charge any of our devices and at the moment all of them are out of power which is a bit annoying. So the tribe has been very helpful and they've turned on the generator for us, which means that all the lights are on. Yeah, I agree. idea what was going on but I, um, I was told to sit down and take my top off and two girls who are initiate shamans so they're training to become shamans uh, just started painting on me apparently it's gonna last for five days The other artists are doing some really good drawings and paintings as well, so let's have a look at what they've been getting up to today. It's always a worry. I mean, this is what I believe. Anybody believe like it? Everything believes it. So today's painting is all about an experience that Robin had. We're very similar to the Yawanawa, and as you can see, they're playing football. Look, I found a what's it. According to Nishi, the Rio Gregorio goes on for three days you can get up the river. It gets increasingly difficult. But after three days, you reach the Peruvian border. And then there's no mark or anything on the border, but you can cross. And then I said, how do you get across Peru? He said, you walk. Huh? Oh, like 